spinning late nights in Hey Lifers, Terry here from the Jeep Life Podcast, and we're out at Kings Creek um, near Moab, and we are here to do um, a Tread Lightly work project partnered with Quadratech as they kick off the 50 for 50 program within 50 work um, areas in 50 states over the next 24 months. It's a huge undertaking, and it's a great partnership between Quadratech and Tread Lightly um, to get amazing things done behind me you can see the construction that's going on and it's awesome how this is going to work they're going to put in rails and um, fencing to block off and keep motorized vehicles and other vehicles from getting into the paleontological site um, and there is petroglyphs and other um, meaningful historical elements in that area and we don't want that disturbed or destroyed, but you can see all the people that came out to help support this. I know that we have um, Power Tank is out here, Tread Lightly, Quadratech, um, Innova, other, other partners in the industry have come out to help out. So plenty of hands to do the good work. I'm going to talk with Evan from Tread Lightly a little bit later and a representative from Quadratech and get their take on um, what's going on. We may have other guests that will join us, so stay tuned. All right, lifers, I'm here with Evan from Tread Lightly. He's a friend of the pod. We've had him on before. We've done some work together. I mean, no, he's out here in the West, but I came to him this time and yeah. we're out here at Kings Creek. What's going on? Yeah, so we're here at King Creek kicking off our Quadratex 50 for 50 program. So we're working on a trail project in all 50 states. It's a two year program, huge thanks to them. But we're out here with the BLM, a ton of industry partners and just enthusiasts and people who care about public land recreation. We're protecting a, a cultural site, actually a place where, you know, ancient man lived and I mean, they formed tools and lived right here along Cane Creek and, Tr and Trough Creek. And really this is an honor for us to be able to protect these kind of places. I mean, it's the destination we go to when we, when we off road. So, you know, it's a, it's a huge thanks for the folks that come out here and protect places like this. If you want to protect your trails, get a hold of us at treadlightly.org. Talk to me, I'm Evan. Um, I'll get you guys sorted out. We'll find a way to get back to the places that you love so much and make sure those get, you know, the maintenance and the care and the sustainability that they need so we can keep riding around and, and having fun. So you guys tread lightly and take care. Man, how cool is that? We're gonna hang out with Evan and the rest of the Tread Lightly team here. We're doing some good work in the background. Yeah, I can help pull out your truck. Hey everybody, I'm lucky enough to be hanging out with Rob from Quadratech. And we've been here doing amazing work. And I want Rob to kind of talk to us about the Quadratech Tread Lightly partnership and our 50 for 50. Yeah, so today we are kicking off our 50 for 50 project. Our partnership with Tread Lightly over the next 24 months, we're gonna be completing a project in each of the 50 states. So 50 projects, 50 states over the next 24 months. And the goal of all of this is really to maintain and protect our access to these amazing spaces that we all love to visit. Now that doesn't mean that they're all going to be an off-road trail like they are today. Some of them may just be outdoor recreation areas. We're not limiting ourselves to specifically Jeep related projects. Now the project that we're tackling today here in Moab, Utah is out on Cane Creek and it's right behind me. You can see we're setting up some buck and rail fencing here to protect an archeological site. Many people come out here and use this trail all year long and have no idea the history that they're driving right by. We've got some really cool drawings scratched into the rock here. This was also a great area to get some protection from the weather. There's a really big rock over here that fell down many thousands of years ago. And the ancient people that came through here actually used this area to get some protection from the wind, from the elements, and cook and survive as they were traveling through here. And it's really cool that we can now come through here thousands of years later, enjoy the trail, enjoy 
enjoy the obstacles and get to check out and imagine maybe what those people were thinking as they were coming through here to this area that we love to visit. Now, as I mentioned, this is gonna keep going for 24 months. Not all of them are gonna be archeological sites. Some of them are just simply gonna be areas that need to be cleaned up. The key factor in all of this is that we can bring volunteers out. You can volunteer and come out and help maybe clean up an area, give a hand, lend bodies, lend some just simple effort to the land management uh, land management agencies that come out here the blm public private agencies they need our help to manage these lands so that they can stay open so if you want to get information you can visit quadratech.com go to the torque blog you can also go to treadlightly.org you can uh you know submit them any way you can get your ideas to us and of course you know if you've got the time and and you've got the availability come out to a project when we're in your area and give us a hand. We'd love to have your help completing this amazing 50 for 50 over the next 24 months. Thanks guys. Terry? Man, isn't it amazing to have such wonderful people doing this and to have Quadratech involved and Tread Lightly, great partners of the podcast already. Yeah. But so many people came out and, and helped out today. It made this project go by so quickly. I mean, we literally like snapped our fingers and we had 50 feet of buck and rail fencing set up. It was insane. And all of these people are giving up their time when they're here for Easter Jeep Safari, right? We come out here, we wanna hit the trails, we wanna wheel, we have everyone to have a great time. But when all of us come together like this, I mean, we can come out here, we can knock out a project like this in two hours. And then get back on the trail. And then we can jump back on the trail. So, I mean, it, it's awesome. And you know what? It feels good to help. It feels good to give back. I like that, I, you know? I think we all use something to make Absolutely. ourselves feel good from time to time and, and, you know, enjoy what we're doing out here. So, well, Rob, I appreciate the time. Hey, give us one of those signature sign offs <laughs> until next time, guys. I'm Rob. I'll see you out on the trail.